Hello everybody, welcome to What Culture Gaming. I'm Scott and I'm joined... I'm as... Peter. Hi Scott. <laughs> I was just going to jump in. Yeah. Um, we've got a Nintendo Switch. We're joined by a Nintendo Switch we are. on the table. You've played with this a little bit, right? Yes. Uh, we've used the magic of illusion and video editing to make it look like it's a new box. Yes. But you went home with it last night. I and, did. And uh, played it a little bit. I took it home all night and uh, I can't... I'm, I'm hamstrung by embargo so I can't tell you everything I think. Um, but I did play that. And uh, I can't tell you about it, but I did play that. And um, but I can tell you about the console, which yes. is cool, because um, we thought we'd just unbox it and we'll just talk about a whole bunch of features and all that kind of thing. Let me in. Because I've unboxed it, but then I put it all back together so you can have the same experience I did. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? It's, it's a nice finish. I love a new box, don't you? Do I open it like this so we can? Oh all God! Share, I mean, yeah, sure. As long as it's all together. Da 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 da! It's all so small. <laughs> oh, look at it. That's like. That's weird. That, right? that just seems really strange right? to look That's at. That's the total reaction that I had. That looks like, uh, you know like when you see like a Victorian doll's house or something and it's like there's a little teapot and like a little, it's like borrower control. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of size comparisons, um, I did put this up next to a 3DS and um, this this little, I mean I guess we'll show it, but like yeah, the, these four buttons, it's nigh on exactly the same form factor as a 3DS. I believe we, I'm just going to step out of frame for a minute. Ooh. I believe we've got... Hey, uh, I'm here. They'll never know I was gone. Well, so here's a standard PS4 controller, and here is I mean, a tiny Switch controller. They're mighty on it. Look at the stick comparison. Oh, wait a minute, I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them down or something. Look at that. It's mighty. We'll do close-ups, but that's so strange. I've got big hands. I mean, God damn it, look. It's yeah. just, it's not even. I, I could steal this. So like, it's <laughs> it's not great. And like, in terms of the size. But I do think it's very cute, like you said. It is very it's cute. It's like a little gnome garden. Yeah. It's very nice. And I've seen, were those things real? The, uh, they might have just been photoshopped. You know, there was like a red one and a green one, it had Mario and Luigi on the package. I think that was so, a fan made. Uh, I, I mean, Nintendo were, would yeah. be dumb not to do that. Yeah, so we can expect them, presumably. I hope so, I would assume so. Non-official, non-confirmed, but, you know, they're cute. They'll be in different colours. Yeah. You know. Give me a Link and a Zelda one. Like, yeah. That'd be awesome. There's sure. lots of different pairings. This is the, the tablet. It looks like a like a, a PDA personal assistant from 1999, isn't it? But for a, <laughs> In console, a good way? it's a good you know it's a good size. I'm not saying it looks like very old shitty technology. I'm saying you know considering this has got everything inside it, right? This plays. Yeah, that, that's the that's the really cool thing that kind of just dawns on you is that that's the whole system. That's it. Like that's the whole thing. And then yeah, you just like snap them on, switch, switch them on, switch it on. And you're away, right? It's, yeah, and there's a vent on the top because it does get, it does get slightly oh, overheated. There is. Yeah. Because that's the thing, they've had to find a way of making a portable home console experience, which like, I'm, I'm treading old ground in terms of what you guys probably already know, but I do think that's kind of worth Thumber and Home. They've found a way of taking a home console experience and shrunk it into that. Yeah, I guess it's easy to just assume that like, oh, Nintendo have brought out another portable mm. uh, handheld. And it's like, well, not necessarily. Yes, you can carry this around, but this is designed to be more of a an actual yeah, console yeah. experience. But that's just a thing that you clip onto there when you want to play vigorous motion control games. Oh. Which if you're playing just dance like a phenom, like I was. Uh, we've got, what is this? Is this a is this PlayStation controller? Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, go on. Oh, so, yeah, this is that one. Yeah. <laughs> it is that one. like three different ways to play this thing, so. That's the whole thing. Yeah. At any point, you could click these onto, I mean, let's just, I'll do this for the sake of showing the Does variety. Does it go when you it do doesn't, it? Uh. Although it doesn't, well, it doesn't um, from the heart, it doesn't diagetically, but it does on the in-gate, on the in-console oh. speakers. Altogether, that's quite a nice size. It's very nice. It, it, the whole I thing, like I mean, the dimension there. In the uh, the welcome pack that we were given along, like there's a little letter thing came from um, Nintendo alongside this, and they uh, they said like it has a subtle charm, which is, is a strange way to advertise your console, but I do actually know exactly what they mean. A subtle charm. A it subtle does charm. actually, yeah. It's, it's, it feels good. I like it feels that. very good. I mean, I like that whole thing. And then, like, obviously, you can take the controllers off. You could kickstand it. Mm -hmm. um, I was playing Zelda, just <laughs> segmented the two controller halves, and I was just on the couch. Just lying. Just, just half One dead. One arm over there. Yeah, it <laughs> doesn't even matter what you're doing. Yeah, but if you press this little button in, and then these little lads will slide off. Right. There you go. Try and put them in there, because I, I had a right faff on. Oh, did you? Well, not a right faff on, but they've got to be the specific. All right. Can you, can you do another? I mean, there's a rail right there. That oh, but just, oh, is there? <laughs> that's cool. That's a bit strange. But How small just, is that? That's pretty small. And it's a, an unusual shape because it's essentially everything is on one big square. But it's not 
I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I think it's just, I did, just a new thing. I did, yes, I did get used to it playing Zelda, and yeah. uh, and it's but it immediately like you know, again comparisons to. I mean, I'm going from Horizon to Zelda, so like I've <laughs> played something like Horizon, which is very intense, oh, yeah. makes you grab onto some stuff. Right. Uh, switching to Zelda, it's a different paced game. Switching to can Zelda. I even say that I don't know if I can say it's a different paced game. I'm going to assume that I can. Oh. And uh, it's cool, but I just think that um, I'm probably going to end up opting for a pro controller. Okay. Just because I think I want something a bit more meaty. Yeah, it it feels a. It feels very you know Nintendo, I mean? like kind of family friendly. Let's all sit at home Done. and eat nachos and uh, <laughs> get grandma playing. And Speaking stuff. of which, you turn this thing on the side, and there are two more shoulder buttons on the top. Oh, what? Uh, which, like, when you want to play Mario Kart or please Nintendo, give us a give us a version of Rocket League while you're on. Mm. You know, uh, yeah, the little buttons there. Yeah. But how tiny is that? To... Oh, that is very. Because I remember, see, I was saying to you before we start recording, I saw. Uh, the footage in the reveal trailer where they're sitting in like a minivan going, whoa, <laughs> and playing Mario Kart at the same As time. As you do when you game. And it seemed very like... Uh, like I mean, maybe of... they're going for that whole like intense thing. Yeah. But the, the distance is my two thumbs almost cover that. So if you're, if you're, a, if you're a well-endowed human, does endowed mean With, yeah. downstairs? You... Can it mean hands? I, I don't think it's exclusive to downstairs. <laughs> if you're a well handily endowed person, yeah. then you might just swallow that. So I don't know. Uh, I, the dock is smaller than I thought it looked in the thing. It looked like a bit of a monolith, to be honest, but mm. it's just basically the same size as the uh, whatever that's called, the tablet. Have a guess at what that is. That's a kickstand, right? Yeah, what's that? A little weird little chip. Oh. Looks like a. That's the oh. tucked away micro SD slot. What? <laughs> <laughs> so in the, uh, the Nintendo Switch itself, once you boot it up and you can look at a bunch of like uh, like helping tips and tricks kind of thing, um, and they're like, hey, we hid the SD slot on the back underneath the kickstand. And then they even say, um, not to hide it from you, um, we just want to make sure the system's very small. And it's just, it's a, it's a lot of like that sort of elegant like Nintendo being like, please. So your game goes in where it says game card. It does, and yeah. So that, so this is for like that's just uh, your external, saves and your extra storage. Yeah. Extra so there's storage. a 25 gig hard drive installed, which um, already the PS4 and Xbox fans and PC guys will be laughing their asses off at how tiny that is. Yeah. Because that's not even a patch on the PS4. Yeah. But whatever, you can get a bunch of extendable memory. They're going to be releasing a two terabyte card that you do for the rest of time. Although yeah. it'll probably cost you the rest of time to save up for a two. I really like the way this dock works because it's. You think, oh, it's just a plastic casing with like an HDMI in the bottom of it. Right. Um, but it's actually, you pop this little lad back and then you just plug in, like you want the, because the AC adapter can charge the tablet itself or can plug into this so that it's charging when it's in there. Click that back together. Nice, neat little toaster. Yeah, brave little toaster. It's a bit like a brave little toaster. And then you're cool. They've certainly covered a lot of bases given mm. the, the limited space that they had. But talking of, of limited space or Jesus. small size, uh, how, Te show that to the world. <laughs> I mean, you might have already seen how incredibly small the cartridges are. Yeah. Because they're a thumbnail. They're pretty much, pretty much. SD card size, right? I mean, that was the whole thing with Nintendo's, um, one of the pitches for this was that they were turning to cartridge technology. Yeah. And whilst we've all been enamored with discs, um, cartridge technologies came on leaps and bounds and they can fit whole games on these tiny little mm. things. But at the same time, they are incredibly small. Yeah. And I question how much people are just going to lose them. Yeah, I mean, in theory, mm. all you need to do is keep track of it between the console and the box, but people don't I'm put just, these things in boxes. Yeah, I'm just it. assuming that it's tiny, so maybe it'll be a bit cumbersome. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I left Zelda in there the whole time, like the vast majority of last night, so it's like, you can't just have whatever game you're playing in there. Yeah. And it resumes, oh, that, you know, it's got the whole um, suspend and play thing that the PS4 later patched in and the Xbox okay. thing, all that crap. So what have you played that you can tell us about, i.e. not Zelda? Uh, not, the only other game that I've played is just Dance 2017, uh, okay. which there are some great songs to dance in on there, even though I'm a metalhead and it killed me inside, but I did have fun. Yeah. I waved my hands like I just didn't care. What did you dance and to? And my arms too. Um, that I can't, f I can't feel my, my face. face. Uh, uh, that reminds me that's that. going to get copyright ID, didn't it? <laughs> that was such a, that was a perfect rendition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're going to be like, well, that was the actual. Pitch perfect. Whoever it is. Jason Derulo is Justin Timberlake. I don't know. Timberlake's, uh, no, not, a Bieber's on there. With his arms. Like, like, like stupid noise that he does. Yeah. Ooh, that song. He does that in various, so I don't it's know. It's all But yeah, that. <laughs> fuck the R. Don't, I can't. I, 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 anyone who likes rock and metal, I, whatever. It's, <laughs> it's gonna run forever. Once a just dance rock and metal. I do. Where you tie one of the con the, the motion trackers to your head and just headbang for 
eight minutes. They're to long, be fair, that would be great. Songs, aren't they? That in, would be really good. Yeah, well. In, uh, in actually, ironically, in the campaign, there's a story mode for Just Dance. Oh, really? Uh, the, the aliens are attacking, and you've got to dance to um, fuel up their ship and also get them to leave, I think. Of course. Um, but that opens by them testing humanity. So the first thing they do is like they flick a module to see what dances you can do. And the first one they hit is an air guitar thing, ah. and you just thrash it, and it's really cool. Okay. Pentatonic scale. E minor. Oh, Over here. pentatonic E minor. Whoa. <laughs> Hold me back. Kirk Hammond knows what's up. Getting anyway, moist. They, um, they haven't patched any of the online stuff yet. I can't tell you about it. I'm embargoed to not tell you about these things. But because the system isn't patched for launch day yet, none of the online features are available. So the, my Nintendo account isn't on there yet. Um, right. Things like news. Uh, the, the actual patch that it needs to go online to get. Um, to do anything, it can't do because the server isn't up yet, or they haven't flicked the switch yet. Oh, uh, okay. The switch, so... Um, but those things, are, we can expect to be able to talk about those kind of things. First of March? First of March is when, um, yeah, when we're unchained. Okay. Um, but until then, because right now it's a Zelda machine. It's a very lovely, elegant Zelda machine, but that is literally all it is, and just on. Um, but in terms of, like, the console functionality, it works like a treat. I mean, it, you slot it in, it instantly goes to the TV. The resolution switches, it's 720p on there, mm -hmm. 1080 on there. And working within the realms of, if I told you I have to kill you, how is Zelda? Is it good? I do believe I can tell you that it is good. Right. Well, you heard it here first. That's a What Culture exclusive. <laughs> Zelda is good. If um, if the lawyers start descending from the rafters, then that impression was based on the footage that we got from Gamescom. Oh yeah, we saw it at Gamescom, and that's yeah, all. That, yeah, he's not even played it. No, no, no. Just thought about it. Right. But yeah. Well, so that is the Nintendo Switch. Is that that's everything to talk about? Look at it. For now. It's all tiny. You could. Put, put all of this in one big blob and it would be smaller than a PS4, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I guess my um, closing thing for now as a first impression is that I think it's loaded with potential. I like all the ideas, they've got like a little capture button, you've got the IR sensor on the bottom. Oh yeah, you've got the rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, there's like, the motion controls are perfect. Yeah, I, I really love the amount of potential that you can see in all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like portable home console experience, brilliant. They just need to bring the games because yeah. right now the launch lineup is looking pretty Slim, and uh, let's just say you're not a huge Zelda fan, maybe you're not, um, you're weirdo, then um, you'll not be bothered about Zelda, and that's the only marquee title right now. Okay. Unless you love Just Dance. Well, uh, that's that. So, uh, we will give you, we'll bring you more as and when we're allowed to. Um, <laughs> but for now, stick with us for more uh, Nintendo Switch coverage. I've been Peter from whatculture.com. I'm Scott from whatculture.com. And we will see you soon.